Thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, I am happy to have this opportunity to say something to the people of this country. I know that some decisions have been, have been taken about me wherein the democracy of this country that has been praised throughout the world exercises the opposite of that. I'm a man who fought for freedom and went to prison for it and even went to exile and used everything I had to fight for freedom, perhaps what at times we call democracy. And I've done nothing in this country, done nothing wrong, but the people who are in certain authorities in this country have decided to tell a lot of lie about me. For an example, they've said I was the most corrupt person in this country, but they've never produced a single evidence as to what is it that I did wrong. The only thing I did in this country against the apartheid was to fight for freedom and democracy. And now, when we finally achieved this, some people have been sitting saying how corrupt this man is, but they've never produced a single evidence to that. It was a way of just saying you don't like this Zoom. But unfortunately, I'm a son of the struggle, served under many presidents. I served for the first time at my young age to president of Albert Lutuli, Oliver Tambo, and finally Mandela. I'm a son of these great leaders who taught me how to fight, how to respect, how to stand for the truth. Part of what has happened in the recent past, the organization that I served for many years was led by people who are no longer carrying out the policies and everything that the ANC stood for. And when this happened, when we were already said to be free, I found myself not being in a position to exercise what I thought was the manner of the ANC as an organization in this country. And I failed even when I tried to intervene. And it was as a reason of this that I decided, therefore, to establish Mkondo Esizwe Party in order to do what I thought I was in this world for, to free our people, to make them have a better life than ever before. But it has been at this time that again, I was tackled by the legal people in a democratic South Africa as I was in an apartheid South Africa. I've had both. I went to prison without any trial. It has never been done even to those who are said to be the worst criminals in the world. I decided that as long as I am around and fit and thinking, I have to make a contribution to take this country to where we wanted it to be, a proper, free South Africa. Judges of the 
constitutional court have taken a decision, I can exercise my freedom, my democracy. Where must I exercise it? In what way? Because I wanted to change South Africa to make the black people in particular free in a true sense of the word. That is the reason why I established the party. And I want this party to be the party that would be appreciated by everybody in South Africa, black and white. I want peace. I want equality. I want freedom. I want this country to be a country that serves its people, its citizens. It is not correct that the citizens of this country, who are supposed, according to the Constitution, to have the last say, as they say, that the majority rules in democracy. And why are they being deprived of that by the Constitutional Court? I am there. And I'm going to fight for my rights until this country agrees that freedom must be a complete freedom, not for some, and oppression for others. I'm talking to you because a decision has been taken that I should not lead my party. I should not go to parliament. But our constitution, as I remember, says that democracy means the majority rules. Does this mean when the majority votes for Zuma to be president of this country, this country will say no? What I also don't understand is that I've established a new party. And I'm starting afresh under the, the party I lead now. But I'm punished for other parties that I was at some point. I don't understand the democracy that we have, how it operates, where it begins, where it ends. The judges that have judged me, they've judged me in the past in a wrong way as well by saying I must go to jail without having a trial. What type of democracy is that one? I've taken a decision, I'll continue fighting in all the way, in different ways to convince everyone that I am right. The learned friends are not. As long as freedom here looks like what it is, I will continue in a disciplined way to fight for my rights. And I'm saying this to the population of this country that must take the stand to correct the wrongs of this country. Thank you very much for the opportunity.